What's up everyone? It's Jell back again. Uh, thank you for coming back to my channel and watching the videos. Um, I really appreciate all of your support. Um, I'm almost reaching that thousand subscriber um, point in my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. So um, anyway, hit that like button, subscribe like always. So today's topic is going to be DTF versus white toner. Yes, we're going to go back and revisit this again because I just want to talk about um, how each um, printer has been innovating um, in this uh, print space, right? So a lot of people say the white toner is better than DTF printer the, and vice versa, right? Well, here's the thing. You're... I, Obviously, I have my own opinion, right? My own bias. But if you compare the two, it's like apples and oranges, right? Um, one's good for certain jobs. One's good for another job. Although, here's the thing. White toner, I'm going to go into it. I'm not going to go too much into depth. But I'm just going to compare white toner and DTF, right? So the white toner, a lot of people, this is from Facebook groups. And this is what I what I see and previous DT, DTG people, DTF people that have moved on from white toner. It's terrible. It, the quality is not um, good enough for, let's just say a professional quality, right? It's only good enough, like let's just say if you're a hobbyist type of person that does, you know, one-off shirts like Etsy and all that um, crap, right? Not, not saying that it's crap, I'm saying that's cool because that's your hustle, whatever you you do your your thing, um, and it's and it's good for maybe five washes, right? I've had a terrible experience with white toner. It's only lasted to one wash and <laughs> one dry, and it's completely just cracked. I know I'm, I wasn't supposed to dry it, but then I would hang dry it, and it's still the trash. It was just complete garbage, um, and and this is this is from my personal experience, and people hate on me for it and they just talk so much you know crap and because i um i tell them like you know stay away from white toner it sucks and then the people who own white toner like i said they just talk a bunch of crap and they they say that i'm wrong they're just in denial to be honest because it's like it's not a great printer and it's expensive to buy a four thousand dollar it's almost with tax and everything and shipping it's like four thousand dollars and it ends up being a paperweight um because the material the paper alone it costs like for their premium paper i think it's like three four hundred bucks for like a hundred sheets so that's like four bucks for a sheet right plus it takes about um <clears throat> it prints fast don't get me wrong but it takes about two minutes to just you know get the adhesive on there and then peel it and then it's like you, you press it for 30 seconds you let it cool down and then you press it for another like you know 10 to 20 seconds and and that process is just so um antiquated it's like it's just outdated right um and 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 for that long of a process to just get a bad print or okay print like quality wise i think it's just like it's ridiculous in that in that aspect um but with dtf yeah i know it's a longer process the print you have to wait for the print um to go through the printer i get it they have their pros and cons right i had my personal uh, dtf printer and the thing is um the print quality is better on the dtf um and yeah, it's a it's a longer process because you do have to powder and all that. But once you get get into like commercial printer, we're talking about converted printer, right? It's a longer process with that. But the thing is that it's it is on demand, just like you know the D, the white toner and DT whatever. They're they're both print on demand kind of thing, right? You just print it here in house and you you know get get it ready and and go. Um, there is longer print times on the DTF printer right and then you have to you know add powder um 
and then you have to cure it and yeah it takes time but that's mainly like converted printers and that's what people need to understand that dtf started with converted printers and it wasn't so much more like slower process than um white toner because white toner is significantly faster in that aspect when you compare them um but the print quality is completely different like we're talking about dtf is more of a top tier quality like it just lasts longer the prints don't really like crack or fade that's obviously a user error right if you don't cure them correctly and or you overcook them and all that then it, you know it's a road for disaster there is a bigger learning curve but don't get me wrong the white toner printer there's a learning curve because guess what it uses it basically uses catalink so catalink is like basically this the same software programs that a lot of dtf printers use so there's a learning curve on, on Catalink. So don't don't think that white toners is plug and play that people make it seem to be, right? And it's like the best thing ever because it's not a plug and play. You still have to deal with like certain profiles, how to get certain colors, and they make it seem to be like this amazing thing, right? But it really isn't. It's still a learning curve, just like DTF. DTF's a learning curve as well. Um, But anyway, it's worth it in the long run, like DTF, because the print quality is just lasts so much longer. If you have, if you like master the process, you're gonna have prints that are gonna be lasting at least 50 washes. And that's no like minimal fading, uh, no cracking, it stretches. It's just like, you have to get high quality inks, high quality um, adhesive, high quality film. And you're good to go. And, um, and it's not as expensive, I guess, ink wise as like a white toner cartridges. They can be pretty expensive and I think it's, it's ridiculous, but the, there's no maintenance on those um, white toner printers. And that's awesome, right? But then you got DTF, high, higher maintenance. But here's the thing, let me get into which one has like really innovated and become better than from it started right from the ground up. So white toner hasn't progressed at all they've just been here's the paper this this and that right but they haven't they said that they were going to compete with dtf and which they haven't they haven't brought anything to the table like they haven't brought better paper they haven't brought um better like i guess printers or not saying that the printers are like bad quality or anything but like different types of toners you know they haven't gone um above and beyond to do like their their r and um r and d right their research and development they haven't gone above and beyond they're just basically stagnant they stayed the same they're like this is our product and this is what you're getting and that's it i haven't seen them um do anything since like 2019 or 2020 like 2020 when the pandemic started right they haven't done anything to innovate white toner because they think they're still gr great and they're not and people need to need to like get this information you know pass forward to them don't think white toner is the best because there's a lot of youtubers out there that are paid to like really, um, uh, what is it called? Sorry, to hype these printers up. They're paid to give them great reviews. So don't believe every every video you see out there, okay? And this is coming from more, you know, personal experience. Just do your research is all I have to tell you. You know, this is my opinion. So if you don't like it, it's fine. I don't care. It doesn't bug me. So. Do your research is all I'm trying to say. White toner is dying out and people are starting to realize like, hey, white toner sucks and it's definitely <clears throat> not worth buying and it ends up being paperweights, right? Um, they're great, like I said, for like one-offs and all those things, like sure, whatever. But it has its place. It's just another tool that you probably won't use very often.
compared to like if you had a DTF printer. Um, and obviously DTG, whatever. Uh, here's the thing with DTF, it started around 2019. It started to be in more, you know, that was like more the de development stage, I guess. So I guess when we started seeing it more here in the US and then pandemic was like where, when it blew up. And if you think about it, it's been about two and a half years, maybe almost three. No, I'd say about two and a half. Yeah, two and a half, three years. Since this whole like DTF thing's been blowing up. And guess what? They've gone such a long way from these crappy converted printers, which I had. Like, it's just um, not that not that the converted printers are crappy. I just don't think people should be getting converted printers anymore because a lot of companies are starting to make um you know commercial printers for just dtf printing and let me tell you it went from converted printers to then commercial printers it just blew up crazy and they're and they then they keep innovating and that's the great part they keep keep developing better inks they keep developing better film they keep developing better adhesive powder it just it's getting crazy and and that's the thing like they're trying to really like develop DTF to becoming like the next big thing or it's already a big thing but even bigger than what it is now they they basically want to take out the screen printer market right but I honestly don't think that's going to happen because a lot of people don't like um, a transfer on top of their shirt right because it has a weird weird feeling yeah it's pretty soft and but you still feel um, the transfer on there anyway <clears throat> so screen printing is always going to be around DTG most likely as well. Um, but yeah, I just feel like DTF has surpassed the innovation that white toner um, will, ever, will ever be capable of. And white toner will never be able to reach like DTF nor DTG standards. I, not even screen printing standards. It's just basically just another, like I said, another tool that you will probably never use, right? It's like when you take um, uh, a math class <laughs> in high school or college that's uh, higher math, right? You never, you never end up using it. That that's basically what the white toner is. It's just like it's nice to acquire that skill, but then it's just never used again, right? So anyway, let me know what you think down below in the comments about this whole DTF versus white toner. And I wanna hear about the white toner folks. A lot of people say, there's a secret behind um, white toner. Please elaborate, enlighten me and show me that secret. Because if it's called rasterization or half tones, don't even talk to me about that because not every design looks good with rasterization or half tone because oh it makes the garment feel better i'm like it, it just it's like that's not the secret because there's some people that are succeeding with it and i really want to know how do you succeed with a white toner printer i just find it to be hard that you can um but like i said unless it's a one-off type of business i totally get it but to sell it as a professional quality to like brands and all that please like i said enlighten me with that information because I would love to know and maybe like collaborate with you and make a video and discuss that topic. Anyway, please hit that like button, subscribe and put your comments down below. Um, yeah, any questions, whatever. I don't care. I just, I just want to, you know, discuss this topic. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.